Hey guys, me, Mr. Casual. I'm here with Mr. Moose, and this is going to be a fight prediction video of Paula Costa versus Hamza Chemaev. So let's get into it. So, as you guys know, like Hamza Chemaev went up in uh, to middleweight to 185, I guess because you couldn't make the weight versus Nate Diaz, and he decided to move up. And he called that Paula Costa. So, and you know, they had like the little behind the scenes thing where Hamza walked up on Paula Costa, Paula Costa walked up on him, or whatever. They both had like their little crowds or something. And um, yeah, so let's, well, who do you think is going to win and why? Well, as much as I like Hamza's superior grappling skills, I think Paulo Costa is probably going to win this fight. How do you, how, but like, how do you think he's going to win, though? Like, in one um, I think in, when the fight actually begins, there's going to be at least 20 pound disparity or more in weight. Probably so, like 30 or 40. Yeah, probably closer to 30 or 40. Yeah, you're right about that. And I think that Paulo Costa might actually TKO him. You know, there's going to be probably. You know what? If, Ham, if Hamza actually tries to strike with this guy, then it's going to be suicide, you know? I, th I think Paul Costa is probably going to get the win on this one. Honestly, bro, like, I don't know why Hamza Chemaev would call out Paul Costa. Like, Paul Costa, like, I heard he walks around like a 240. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he could, he literally had trouble making 185. That's why they, they pushed him up to light heavyweight. So I don't even understand how Hamza would end up fighting Paul Costa because Paul Costa can't even make 185 anymore. Like, there would have to be, like, a catch weight probably of, like, 200 or something. So Hamza would be fighting Paul Costa. They, let's say they would catch weight of, like, 200. How's that for Polo Costa? Polo Costa will be coming in like at two thirty the next day after he like you know gains the weight back, and then Hamza will probably come in like a one ninety. I think he walks around at one ninety five. Polo Costa will have like thirty five pounds on Hamza. I think Polo Costa would end up destroying Hamza Chimaev if they go. They, if Hamza tries to strike with him like he did like with Gilbert Burns, I think Polo Costa will knock out Hamza Chimaev. If Hamza tries to like just straight up grapple like the whole time with Polo Costa, I like Hamza Chimaev if he tries to fight do it safely, you know. But if they if if it goes striking wise, I, I like Polo Costa, bro. I'm telling you. If Gil yeah, yeah. If Hamza is too cocky, and uh, he's definitely gonna get slept in this match. You know, he And he is cocky. He overestimates himself in terms of even if it's striking, he thinks he's better than he is. Bro, his ego is crazy, bro. It's funny how he turned into the villain now, but people still like his hardcore fans, bro, like just defend him. You say anything against Honda Chamaya, bro, people go for your fucking head, bro. They, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy, bro. Yeah, he has like a big fan base now. The fan base he has is bro, they're like super loyal, bro. They they view him as like like the next. He's the, he's the next one up, you know. Like they view him like like the fucking goat, even though he's not even the goat yet. You know what I mean? But regardless, bro, Paulo Costa, I feel like if they were striking with Hamza, I think he would fuck Hamza that up, bro. Just pure uh, the, the power. If, you talk, if we're talking about power, talking about size, bro, I think Paulo Costa would just he's too big for Hamza, bro. But regardless how good Hamza is, no no matter. Well, he was, you know, like a Swedish champion in, you know, freestyle wrestling or whatever, right? Like, I just don't see him doing shit to Paul Costa, bro. Like, he, I think, like, he bit off a little bit more than you could chew, just like when Izzy fought Jan Blachowicz. He bit off a little bit more than you could chew. And don't forget, if, if Hamza, let's say if Paul Costa ends up knocking out Hamza Chemaev, that's it. His hype is over. That whole Hamza shit is going to be over, bro. That whole little hype train he got going right now is literally over. He gets knocked out by Paul Costa. That's why it's, like, so risky. I don't understand why Hamza is doing that. It's like just there's so much risk, bro. But at the same time, you gotta respect Hamza Chimaev's balls for calling that Paula Costa. Could you imagine, like, yo, I call a Paula Costa? Like, wh why would you want to call that dude out? Like, you know, the guy is still like a big problem. Like, you know, he's only lost twice, and that was against Vittori and decision, and then he lost that one time against Izzy, and Izzy like like fucked him from the back, like like he pretended to, and that's like why everyone started making fun of Paula Costa, and then Paula Costa was like, oh, I was drunk, and then a, a bunch of other stupid shit. Paul Costa did outside of the ring, but no one can deny Paul Costa is still a big ass problem in the ring. You know what I mean? Like, like they view his out ring outside ring shenanigans, shenanigans like oh he's a clown, but like in the ring he's still a problem. Like Hamza needs to like chill out. Hamza's ego is really getting the best of him. I feel like he's just like like it, like Izzy always says like you're sipping up your own Kool Aid, bro, too much. You're, you're sipping your own, you're getting drunk off your own Kool Aid. You need to like relax. You know what I mean? But the funny thing is. Eventually, we might get we might get Izzy versus if Hamza beats Paula Costa, right? I think it'll be Hamza versus Izzy after. Yeah, that's probably that makes the most sense actually. Yeah, if it was... I have my doubts, even though you know, from a matter of perspective, when it comes to just you know versatility, yeah, you know, I have to give Hamza the upper hand. You know, like bro, look like look at the record, bro. Like, how many wins like Paula Costa has by TKO or KO, bro? Bro, so like out of fourteen wins that that um Paula Costa has, eleven are by knockout. You know what I mean? 
So he has 11 knockouts out of like 14 wins, bro. That's like 80% like knockouts for, for his wins. And he only, he only has two losses, and one was to Izzy, and one was the decision. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Well, here's also the thing, you know, even if, like, you know, Hamza tries to wrestle uh, Kosa, is he really going to be able to overpower him? I, I don't know. Kosa is, like... I don't think he could. We've, we've never really got to see, like, Kosa's, like, grappling abilities like that, but I, 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 what I've heard was, like, he has decent grappling, not on the level of Hamza, but once again, he's, like, so big, that it might be, like, a, it's still, so he it might be able to, like, defend... I feel like Hamza's wrestling, maybe? Like, yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to overpower him, you know. That's true, that's gonna happen. That's true. I think even if he is a superior grappler, you still need to have at least an even amount of power or a slightly above, you know. You just can't, you're not gonna be able to do much if you can't overpower the guy. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's, I get it. Hamza's a way better grappler, but it's not like Paul Costa doesn't know what the fuck like grappling is. It's not like he's a complete beginner, right? Like he still has some skill, right? Like I'm sure it's still pretty tough to take Paul Costa down, especially when he has like 40 pounds on Hamza Chimaev. Yeah, I mean we're talking about we're still talking about wrestling, so it's not like some other martial art like 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 a keto where you're trying to use someone else's like power against him or anything. This is still wrestling. This is still grappling. You still need that power to dominate your opponent. You know, it's just. The way it is, it's a simple fact. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think Paul Coles is gonna win. And you said you, you said Hamza. What did you say? Um. You know what? As much as I like Hamza's skill set, I, I actually, I think I'm just gonna have to give it to Paul Coles. Actually, you know. I think. I, I, I think he's gonna win this one. Um. Quite possibly a knockout. Really. I, I think I like Paul Coles to buy yeah. knockout in like yeah. the third round or second round. I think. Hamza's ego is going to get to him just like it did in the Gilbert Burns fight. He almost got knocked out in that fight too, by the way. In mm-hmm. case people forget, he literally got dropped like twice, I think. Like Gilbert Burns, if he didn't like get a little bit tired, he would have knocked out like Hamza Chimaev and that would have been that's all she wrote. You know what I mean? So I, I, so yeah, our prediction is definitely Paul Costa by knockout. I know it's not a popular opinion, but I just don't, I just, I'm just too small for Paul Costa. I just don't see... Like, Paul Costa could be a heavyweight, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he walks around like a 245, 250. Like, he can be, a, he'll probably be a smaller, on the smaller side of the heavyweights, but not even. He's like six foot two. 250, six foot two, 240, 250. He's like a regular heavyweight. He, he, like, you know, he's bigger than DC, I feel like. like. Like, think about it. He's taller than DC and probably has like 10 pounds on DC. Well, DC walks around and probably fights at 250 as well, 240. The same thing as Paul Costa. He's like a, like a DC, but a little bit taller. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, it's me, Mr. Casual. I'm here with Mr. Moose. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be safe for everybody, all right? Take care.